Larry Longwind over there. Just bring me up for the love of God. First time I made love to Russell, I don't want to get emotional, or he made love to me, I must say. He was gentle, he was kind, he was nurturing. He cared. Now he treats me just like another one of his bitches. <laughs> and I've had it. Folks, this is the point of the show where everything stops dead. And I tell you about my real life. <laughs> and then you'll all feel lucky, the lives you had. I'm gaining weight for a part in a movie. I don't know what that part is yet, but hopefully I can become a little more bloated. You know what I realized how I gained weight? I was on a, fl a flight to uh, L.A. from uh, Paris, first class, because I killed. <laughs> and the pilot comes out, no, the pilot didn't come out. Uh, There's like kind of half a fag, not half a fag, I can't use that. He was a full-blown fag. He was a faggot. <laughs> he was a fucking fag. He took it right in the old keister. Anyway, we can't use any of that, but just to get you laughing. I mean, he was a guy who guy was, and then they would talk afterwards. I can't talk to, after that. I don't know about you, but I need to smoke. I don't even smoke. But he, why am I laughing in the audience, isn't it? Isn't, isn't this an upside down world of comedy? But he said, I didn't realize how much weight I had gained. And uh, they give you pajamas in first class, right? And he goes, what size do you wear? I go, I don't know, medium. And he hands me an extra large and goes, please. <laughs> <laughs> but that little faggy lid. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It was like these guys they talk about when they find out one of their friends is gay, they talk about him like he died. He's gay? No, I just talked to him the other day. It's good to be here amongst you. Amongst you, look at the different colors and creeds and races and all different, and, and Montreal, a melting pot of a city. There, there, there's uh, the French Canadians, and then there's the English, and then there's like a spring of Hasidic Jews that go around and make the neighborhoods dangerous. <laughs> it's one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Your people are lucky. Until you win a hockey game, and then, for some reason, when you win a hockey game, you burn cars. I don't understand that. <laughs> Whoa, I was so happy we won a game. Let's turn over cars and make them explode. Because <laughs> you're here in Canada, which is like the, the, the hat of America. We consider you, and then your dollar is better than ours now, which I don't fucking understand. <laughs> it's not right because of our president, our president uh, who's, uh, uh, and I never thought I'd live today to see this, a Hawaiian. We never had a Hawaiian president before. <laughs> Those hated people from Hawaii. That's what I always love when people go, he's in a better place. When somebody dies, he's in a better place. No, he's not a better place. He's dead, he's in a dark fucking grave, he's hurting. You know what a better place is? Maui, Maui is a better place. <laughs> Maui is a much better place. Maui is even better than Oahu, which is a better place than where he's at. I'm so happy tonight. I'm so happy because I adopted a five-year-old Chinese girl. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I needed help with my iPhone. <laughs> I, and I got to tell you, the kid is smart. As soon as I learn all the apps, she's going right back. I'm not gonna really raise her, I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> I see all these beautiful women in the mix. Look at this, uh, this Asian woman right in the front. Yeah, you. I've never been with an Asian woman for free, but let me tell you something. <laughs> of course I want a happy ending. What kind of question is that? <laughs> Who wants a depressed ending? It is what it is. I love when people say it is what it is. How could it be anything than what it is? It is what it is. That's the way I roll. That's the way you roll? How about I roll you the fuck out of here? I'm so tired of that saying. <laughs> There's a lot of love here with Russell. Russell is unbelievable, isn't he? He's so talented. He's got, he, just in India alone, he's got a billion people following him.
a billion people. I got 300 South Philly Dagos. Hey, Dama Rare, do that Joey Bag of Donuts bit, will you? you little fucking grease ball. <laughs> people from all over, beggars in Calcutta. You know Russell Peters? Oh. <laughs> I love him. He made me can crack me up, but the but the little but the make me love. He brings a lot of love, man, and that's cool because there's so many hate groups in the world. A hate group, can you imagine hating so much you actually get in a group? To hate enough to organize your hate? <laughs> I, could, I could never be in a hate group because I'd end up hating my hate group. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I don't want to talk about it. Where are you going? I got to go to my hate group. I hate them. They're so hateful. My Uncle Tony, he's like the ignorant racist. He's ignorant and a racist. He's one of these guys, he doesn't even know the facts. He goes, eh, the reason blacks are such great running backs is because when they were back in Africa over there, and I'd actually look over there like I would see a part of Africa. <laughs> when they were in Africa over there, the, the, the tigers would chase them and they would nip at their asses. They'd be chasing them, they'd be jumping and nipping, and the ones they caught, you know, the, Darwin said it was natural selection. They didn't survive, but the ones that got away, they're running backs in the National Football League now. <laughs> I told him, I said, I'm going to Spain. He goes, I never want to go to Spain. I go, why? He goes, there's too many Mexicans. <laughs> He's ignorant. He says, your boy Obama's not doing too good, huh? Cheating on his wife, his golf game's going to shit. <laughs> I said, that's Tiger Woods, you retard. You know what I'm talking about. Arnold Schwarzenegger, what a pig. What a pig Arnold Schwarzenegger was. With the same, the same bed that he was with his wife, he's, he's stooping his maid. How wrong is that? And the one thing you gotta give him, he wasn't into looks. You ever see her with that bull head? She looks like she could kill you with her frontal lobe, just knock you out. It was about convenience. Hey, Consuela, while you're down there, do me a favor, will you? Terminate me. Terminate my cock. How could he do that? And when you're when a maid's outfit, what do you wear? What do you wear for a fantasy? Hey, go dress up like one of the Kennedys, will you? I have a friend who's a ventriloquist, right? And, he, and I hate ventriloquism, but he's funny. And he's in uh, Washington Square Park in New York by NYU, and he calls this uh, Puerto Rican guy a spick. And the guy grabs a knife and stabs the puppet in the stomach. <laughs> and the guy goes, you know, you're okay, but your puppet's an asshole, man. Three thousand people, huh? <laughs> That's all I get. That's all I get. That fuck up. All I've done. All I've done for this city. Boy, I could have been in Toronto tonight, but I chose to come here. <laughs> oh, est-ce que vous comprenez le français? <laughs> I had a French-Canadian girlfriend, the hottest. She, her, her lips were beautiful. They were like always halfway to a blowjob. The <laughs> cutest thing. And I fucked up that relationship because of my hobby. Other women. Come on, folks, give a little. Is this thing on? Don't make the mistake that I made. I lost her. Now I live with Jeremy Hotz. He's great, man. Where do you see him? He's fucking funny. Let me tell you about his set so he doesn't have to do his whole set. <laughs> Let me just do a couple of minutes of Jeremy just to warm you up. It's beautiful, really, the blend of people, the, the United Nations of comedy. That's what Russell draws. And I always think about that because isn't it cool that all these people could sit together, you know, be, be you Muslim or, or Hebrew or Jewish or or, or Hasidic, or other, other variety of Jews and Arabs and Pakistanian and 
whatever the, whatever you are. And it's, 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 I'm a Roman Catholic, and I got to tell you, you're dead wrong. You're all dead wrong about, about God. Jesus does not love you. Jesus is not crazy about you. Jesus has a crush on me. He does. A priest once told me that while he was buttoning up my little pants. I got to get out of here. Vive le Quebec. Thank you. Love you, Montreal. Bye-bye. Damarera, ladies and gentlemen. Youthful and spry.